what we don't have here and what we don't know, but what we can 100% assume is going to be the case is that one of these stats or ascendable resources, you will be able to speed up with the purchase of emeralds. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero Wars Central, and we got a new game mode coming to Hero Wars Facebook and Web, just announced about an hour ago. Gonna be, uh, gonna be a guild-based event, hero-based event as well. This is Hero Wars, this is not Titan Wars. New game mode in development. The link to this Telegraph article is gonna be in the description box down below. I would love for you all to go read it for yourself. I'm going to brush through it real quick for you, just you know, just as a quick little quickie. There's gonna be a new location, similar to some of the locations that we already have. Nothing crazy, just you know, the, the airship is a location, the tower is a location, the arena is a location. This is just gonna be a new location. And the mysterious city of Asgard is what it's going to be called this is a new game mode they've been teasing this game mode for almost two years i think until this event comes out all we have that is a guild cooperation is the guild war which not everybody can participate in and then the pet adventures which only three players at a time can participate in the new game mode is a weekly battle Monday through Thursday, there's the first phase. You're going to fight regular mobs, regular monsters, regular henchmen, as they're called here. And then Friday to Sunday, you're fighting a boss. Now, they go on to say many times throughout this that everything in this article is subject to change. The wording, the names, the numbers, it's all subject to change. And uh, we won't know for sure what it actually looks like until it comes out later this year. They, they said fall. But it could be later, it could be sooner, who knows. You, you as an entire guild, you're fighting these henchmen through the week, right? And you could do it at any time. You don't have to wait for people like in the adventures. You don't have to wait to get your, your red dots like in Guild Wars. You can just do the henchmen at any time, which I kind of I kind of dig it. So these are two of the henchmen, as you can see here. So defeating the henchmen is just as important as defeating the boss. You will earn valuable resources and receive a boost for the entire guild, make it easier to fight the boss. And apparently you don't even have to participate them every single day. So this isn't yet another thing that you have to do every day. It looks like you can do all of the battles on the last day of each phase. So at the very least, you're gonna to need to log in on Thursday and knock out these battles. So everyone, team level 65 or higher, can participate in these battles. And you, you, know, you don't have to have a champion signet. You don't have to be invited to a pet adventure. Everyone, it's fantastic. You're gonna use your heroes and your pets. So again, Hero Wars, not Titan Wars, okay? And like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to wait for the attacks of your guildmates. Each of your fights throughout the week will contribute to your guild's overall progress to toward defeating the boss who has a shared health bar. By defeating the henchmen, you can temporarily strengthen your and your guildmates' heroes for the boss fight. If your guild manages to defeat the boss and everyone will get an increased reward. So this is important right here. Get an increased reward. This means that you'll get rewards for participation no matter what. Okay, you don't have to beat the boss but it will be nice and it won't be required to beat the boss every week in my guilds but you know it'll be a fun thing to go towards in fact it looks like the guild masters and the generals choose the difficulty of the boss that you fight so what do you get for participation well you get these new resources you have a new resource called heroes ascension this is a new thing to level up for your heroes. So let's do a quick rundown of all the things that we already have to level up for our heroes. First of all, we have uh, we have our hero's level. All right, we have our hero's level. We have our hero's evolution. Okay, that's, that's two. We have our hero's color ranking. Okay, that's three. We have our hero's skills. That's four things. You have your hero's skins. That's five things. You have your hero's glyphs. That's six things. Gift of the Elements, seven things, artifacts, eight things, and then you can kind of group your patronage into there as well, but you know that's if you, if you really want to include that. So we already have a lot of things that we need to level up on our heroes in order for them to be uh, max rank heroes or maxed out heroes, you know, whatever you want to call it. But this is going to be yet another thing that you're going to need to level up for your heroes, and I'm not sure how I feel about all that, but you know, it, it, it's fine. It, you know, it's a new thing. It's a new thing that we can talk about every week. It'll be fun. I'll make content about it. So continuing on, Heroes Ascension is a new progression system that will provide an opportunity to increase Heroes' stats. Okay, we're going to come back to the stats in a second. In addition to the stats, 
In addition to the stats, Ascension will allow you to improve certain skills of several heroes. So here's an example. We're talking about Thea's Ascension skill upgrade. We have Healing Beam, which I believe is her green skill. Yeah, Healing Beam is Thea's green skill. And you can see here that if you ascend Thea or ascend the skill or upgrade the skill, which is ascend, you know, the Beam of Light becomes Healing Beam of Light and healed allies also take less damage for five seconds. A couple of things to really highlight in this instance is we have uh, certain skills, improve certain skills. This statement right here makes me think that not every skill is gonna be upgraded. So some skills, right? Not all skills, certain skills of several heroes, okay? Improve skills of several heroes. So now we can see that not every hero is going to have skills that are gonna be ascended. So I don't know if this means some heroes are going to have all of their skills ascended or ascendable. Is that even a word? Ascendable. Or if it's going to be certain heroes have certain skills. So we'll find out. Back to the stats. It will be possible to increase stats for all your heroes with a certain role. Therefore, you could increase your stats of all of your tanks, of all of your healers, etc. All the boosts that heroes get through Ascension will be applied in all Hero Wars game modes. And then they say, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. That's enough of a tease for now. So this increasing stats for all of heroes with a specific role. I have questions about this. First of all, is this going to be restricted? Can you only increase your tanks stats, but not your damage dealers, i.e. your warriors, your marksmen, uh, your support? Or can you increase the stats of everyone? Can you increase your tanks stats and also increase your healers stats and also increase your warriors stats or do you have to pick one or two or five per week i don't know are these stat increases permanent i don't know i think that if it was permanent then then this is going to be a must-have mechanic for everybody going forward if it's not permanent and it's just for the week then it's going to be something that you're going to have to front load. You're going to want to do all of the fights every single day so that you can get as much of the stats increased as possible as the week goes on. Because if you wait until Thursday to do all of your fights and get all of your stat increases on Thursday, then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you won't have any of those stat increases. So I can see why they would do this to kind of promote you wanting to do things earlier in the week. Can you imagine? I'm already having trouble with some tanks as my Kark team. Uh, just a little bit more health, a little bit more armor. I think that I might uh, I might never kill a tank ever again with Kark. No, that's not true. Well, Kark teams, you guys are gonna be you guys are gonna be just fine. In all honesty, this is perfect for me as a content creator. This is gonna give me an infinite amount more uh, conversation material. However, I'm not so sure that this is great for the longevity of the game. If if they just keep stacking more and more stats onto every single hero, it's gonna make it harder and harder to max out teams and to quote unquote finish the game which i don't think this game should be able to be finished or beat anyway but that's a that's a question for a, another day and finally what we don't have here and what we don't know but what we can a 100 percent assume is going to be the case is that one of these stats or ascendable resources or or something in here you will be able to speed up with the purchase of emeralds they will not add an activity like this and not give you a way to spend emeralds to speed it up somehow we don't see how that is just yet but that is where people are going to be ranting about this event that's that's where people are going to be upset about this event i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below don't forget that the link to this article is in the description down below and we don't live stream at 12 p.m. on Thursdays. We live stream at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, 1.30 a.m. UTC, riotous growth, Earth Titan event going live later on this evening, about 12 hours from now. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.